patients with kidney disease stage 2 to 4 are being completely cured by supplementing just one mineral. This breakthrough discovery is now considered the key to reverse kidney disease. Catherine from Double O Kidney here. Welcome to our journey together to a better kidney health. Today's video is all about one of the most effective ways to lower your creatinine levels. There's been a breakthrough in the way mineral and bone disorder is being treated in CKD and its connection to the thyroid. Researchers believe this could potentially change the lives of every single kidney disease patient in the world. In this recent study, researchers concluded that in patients with hypothyroidism, renal function improved after normal thyroid function was reached. In some patients, above normal creatinine levels completely returned to normal once the patients achieved normal thyroid function. This is amazing, guys! CKD patients in this study completely reversed kidney disease by normalizing their thyroid levels. So, today we are going to see exactly how to make your thyroid work better because that could actually get you out of kidney disease. Now you may think, but my thyroid works, okay? Why should I worry about that? Well, if you have CKD, your thyroid is not working like that of someone with healthy kidneys. And I don't need to see your medical records to say that. I'll explain myself. Every single kidney disease patient has some degree of imbalance in the levels of calcium, phosphorus and magnesium. Every single one and those in the advanced stages are usually worse. And this is a fact. Now, this imbalance directly causes damage to vessels, heart, and to the kidneys. Having too high levels of phosphorus, for example, is linked to faster kidney function decline and earlier death. This is where your thyroid comes into play. The body will release more and more parathyroid hormone to compensate, and this leads to even more problems. And while symptoms such as bone and joint pain may not appear until a person has had the disorder for many years, the sooner you start treating this issue, the better. Good news is, there has been recent developments in the treatment of mineral and bone disorder that may seriously help you improving your kidney function. As we have seen, Patients that will take advantage of these new findings may have a chance to reverse skinny disease. And of these amazing new findings, our first entry is the easiest to benefit from. Researchers have found a way to supplement a mineral that's crucial to the body's function. Just like for essential vitamins, you cannot live without enough of it. It helps keep blood pressure normal, bone strong, and the heart rhythm steady. Unfortunately, a deficiency in this mineral is very common among people with kidney problems, especially those taking diuretics and in diabetics, and it may cause poor sleep, high blood pressure, inflammation, and high uric acid levels. I'm talking about magnesium oxide supplements. While it was believed that increasing magnesium levels through oral supplementation wasn't possible, today researchers may have found a way and this can have a dramatic effect on your kidney health and creatinine levels. But why is magnesium level so important for the health of the kidneys? Magnesium is a mineral that's crucial to the body's function just like for essential vitamins, you cannot live without enough of it. Unfortunately, magnesium deficiency is very common among people with kidney problems, especially those taking diuretics and in diabetics, and it may cause poor sleep, inflammation, and high uric acid levels. It is known to be associated with hypertension, vascular calcification, and insulin resistance some of the worst risk factors for CKD in the world. 
Lower serum magnesium levels are also associated with an increased risk of both ending up on dialysis and death. Guys, supplementing magnesium may be the easiest way to repair the kidneys in the world, at least for some people. And the benefits may be immediate, way faster than you may think. I can tell exactly when my magnesium levels are low. I feel really jittery and nervous, just like when you take too much coffee but without the extra energy. Huh? This is why I recommend to supplement magnesium before going to sleep. It can really help you sleep better. Low magnesium levels are also the most common cause of muscle spasms and cramps. So what is the best way to keep magnesium levels in the normal range? There are a dozen types of magnesium supplements you could take. There is magnesium sulfate, carbonate, oxide, citrate and more. Not all of them would help, as I was saying. In fact, what a recent study on TKD patients found out is that supplementing magnesium carbonate or citrate won't raise serum magnesium levels. Researchers believe that magnesium oxide is the best option. In a study on hypertension in kidney disease, participants took between 240 and 960 milligrams of magnesium oxide each day to lower their blood pressure. The researchers found out that taking 300 to 400 milligrams of magnesium supplements daily was the best dosage. Taking magnesium with vitamin B6 has also shown to improve absorption significantly. Now my advice if you want to supplement magnesium is to first get checked for serum levels and consult your doctor, especially for those with a GFR below 20 to 30 because also having too high level of magnesium has its dangers. While it won't damage your kidneys, it may still be dangerous. In short, if you have kidney disease, high blood pressure or diabetes, discuss the possibility of a magnesium deficiency with your doctor. Taking 300 to 400 milligrams of magnesium oxide per day seems to be the best way of correcting a deficiency and lower your creatinine levels. Just don't take a magnesium supplement unless your tests say your serum levels are low. Instead, focus on healthy foods that contain this mineral. These include tofu, almonds, cashews, flaxseed, spinach, dark chocolate, oatmeal, and quinoa. Many of these foods should be regulars in a kidney diet. They're a great way to get plenty of other important nutrients too, actually. Now you may ask, if I start eating all that extra veggies and fruit, won't my potassium levels go up too much? While the answer to this question was considered obvious just a few years ago, today many studies are changing the way the field of nephrology looks at potassium in the diet. I've explained exactly how you can now eat many potassium rich foods such as banana, mango, orange and more in my video up here. But don't go away yet. The reason why magnesium supplementation can improve kidney function will actually surprise you. No. It's not because it fights high blood pressure, diabetes, and makes you sleep better. Magnesium supplementation can reduce parathyroid hormone or PTH in people with kidney disease. New study found out. Let's see exactly how this works and how a kidney disease patient may benefit from this new finding to reverse CKD. A recent study on CKD patients published on endocrine research, a peer-reviewed medical journal concluded that in patients with hypothyroidism renal function improved after normal thyroid function was reached. In some patients, above normal creatinine levels completely returned to normal once the patients achieved normal thyroid function. And guys, this is amazing! Researchers have been studying the correlation between kidney and thyroid function for years without finding a clue. What they recently discovered is the reason why when the kidneys cannot keep in balance phosphorus, calcium and magnesium, the body will release more thyroid stimulating hormone to do what the kidneys 
cannot do. And they haven't just found a missing link, they found a way to improve or completely cure kidney disease. The good news, it's very easy to improve kidney function by normalizing thyroid function. This can be achieved by supplementing magnesium, as we have seen, and by treating hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is not hard to treat. There is a medication called levothyroxine, which is a synthetic thyroid hormone that works immediately. If you get diagnosed with hypothyroidism, very common in CKD, and you start the treatment, your kidney function is going to go up in a matter of days. The medication gradually lowers cholesterol levels elevated by the disease and may reverse any weight gain. In short, keep your thyroid function under control. Get your thyroid function checked if you have kidney problems, even in absence of symptoms. Even some doctors don't know this, but both hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism have been linked to a faster decline in kidney function. For some patients, normalizing thyroid function with the appropriate treatment is all that it takes to improve kidney function fast. Now guys, there's only one thing even more crucial to improve thyroid and kidney function than magnesium. It is a vitamin with kidney repairing properties. So powerful, it would be a mistake not supplementing it. Yet, many patients and even doctors are getting it completely wrong, causing more harm than good. I've explained how to solve this in detail in my video up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.